Oh, wow. What's going on guys? God bless you, Carl's here with Serrano's Mobile Detail in Dallas, Texas. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. Today we're working on this beautiful, well, it's gonna be beautiful, so I'm speaking ahead of time, right? Uh, we're working on this Mazda. We're gonna be doing uh, strictly the interior. I was um, called to do just the interior on this one, but man, it needs some love. It definitely needs a lot of work on this vehicle. So hopefully it doesn't rain on me because it is. it was drizzling earlier. So I try to wait it out a little bit. So hopefully now I'm good to go because um, I'm working in some apartments and uh, they don't have like garage ports. Well, they don't have one. And besides, I wouldn't want to use um, other people's carports just in case it rains. So if it starts raining, then we'll just kind of shut everything down and wait it out and then we'll keep going but this one has a lot of pet hair real fine pet hair they have a, a french bulldog we're also going to be the upholstery the, uh, the seats oh my god these are these are bad uh so we're going to be concentrating on the seats as well obviously the all, all the interior so let me get all set up and let's get started on this vehicle all right, so before I start turning all the um, equipment on, what I'm gonna do first is I'm drill brushing everything. So I think I can't get enough of preaching drill brush. So before literally I start blowing out everything, I want to um, start creating like, I don't know. I like to drill brush the carpet first and then we'll do a quick vacuum, obviously Vortex Air Tool and all of that. But I like to drill brush the carpets the seats what this is gonna do is going to start um, loosening up all the fibers right so it's gonna actually help me get it prepared for like when I start spraying all the um, um, like the flex products and all of that it gets in better <clears throat> And I'm using the yellow, this, I call it the toilet brush attachment, but this one is the like a medium bristle. So it's gonna help me grab more of literally like just uh, agitating all the fibers within the carpet. So literally it does really well for like pet hair and all of that. And this really doesn't, shouldn't take you long. It's just a quick agitation. It's just a quick, just quick passes. Cause all you're trying to do is just kind of loosen up the debris of the, of the fibers. And that's it. And then now next I'll turn on the equipment. And then we'll start all the blowing out and the vacuuming and then we'll start cleaning the plastics all right uh, i've gone ahead and obviously blown everything out now it's to the vacuuming stage I usually just do like a quick vacuum just to get the majority of the stuff. But in this scenario, this vehicle has a lot of pet hair, real fine hair. So I will be taking my time on that part because I just want to make sure I can get the majority of all the hairs off. So when I do the extraction, it's just a little bit smoother. Yeah, it might take me a little bit longer today, but I mean, that's what the customers are paying for. So um, what I'm going to be using is obviously three items for this process. I'm going to be using the drill brush. Uh, I'm also going to be using the new Max Shine. Uh, 
it looks like a pet hair removal and i've actually enjoyed this one because of the handle the ergonomics on this one you're able to grab the um the tool nicely and it has a long handle um i'm not very familiar with these types of like i've never really used something like this so there's a first for me and we're going to be using the vortex air tool and that's what's going to maximize the results so let's get started So what I want to do first is uh, vacuum first, the majority, and then I'll start getting all like the pet hair and all of that, and then we'll re-vacuum again. Now that I got the majority of like the pet hair and all of that, and I like to use the mats as like my knee, like a knee uh, back, like a, just like a knee helper, <laughs> if that makes sense. So I'm gonna go ahead and just vortex everything really quick. And we're gonna vacuum again. Some people use like a like a, a like a clothing softener, like downy, and they spray it on the on the carpet, which helps. You can do that. I for me, it's just easier to just do everything dry. All right, so I'm gonna head and vacuum it off, and now I'm using the Max Shine pet pet hair removal, and just trying to get the majority of this pet hair. And not bad it's, it's doing pretty good actually for a uh, for the first time using this tool and usually when I, i'm using this i like to do it like like just like an up and down motion and a side to side so this way you can really get all the pet hair off And we'll repeat this step multiple times and just do it all around the car. Next phase when it comes to the interior part for me is I always start from my, uh, from the dashboard, then I'll take it down to around this radio area, down to the, to the gear shifter. And then we clean out all the, the cup holders nicely, all this. We clean the side plastics and then I'll start cleaning like your steering wheel area, all this bottom portion. And then I'll clean like these plastics here. And the last thing I will do is the door panel. So I work from inside out all the time. I'm actually trying out and using for the scrubbing. I'm using the new Max Shine. Uh, this is like their interior. Um, it's kind of like the Scrub Ninja, but it's a two in one. So you have that material that you will use to clean. And then if you want to dress, you can it has that like a microfiber side where you can uh, apply like your dressing and apply it on on the material which is really cool and so far i've i've enjoyed it it works just like the ninja scrub you know um obviously this is a max shine brand but honestly this does very well guys uh from what i, I can see right now and then i'll be i'll be posting a link on it as well so you guys can check it out and um I literally spray the sponge and then I will just apply it to the plastics on the side. Sometimes I will spray like the material, you know, and then agitate. But sometimes you're able to do just as good without having to spray. And like all like right here where all the buttons are and everything, I usually don't spray nothing. Uh, but I will agitate with like a brush <laughs> lightly and then blow it off. Um, but this is going to turn out really nice. I'm going to say it should turn out really nice. I'm enjoying this. And I accidentally put the gloves on the wrong side because I'm doing all the scrubbing with the right and the right one. I don't even have a, 
uh, a glove on. <laughs> We are now to the extraction phase. So step number one is we're going to be using one full scoop of flex ice. That's what I'm pouring into my extractor. My extractor is the Mighty 1001 LX200. It has the LX motors that's a little bit more powerful and it's also heated. So for this scenario, heat is going to be my best friend. Um, it was hot, but I, I had to turn on the heater elements on this vehicle. And then I have this orange pump sprayer. I'm, I'm mixing Flex Fire, one full scoop. And then we pour that into the pump sprayer. And then I grab the Flex Citrus, one full scoop as well. And usually before I head to uh, my appointment, I will fill this pump sprayer at my house. And I have hot water in here. And it's a hot day, so... This water really wasn't cold, um, and you're going to see me <coughs> shake up the pump sprayer really good. The beauty of the Flex products is it dissolves very quickly. This, power, this powder dissolves quick, so it's not going to leave like any type of debris when you're using the pump sprayer. And when I do my pre-spray, I always start, especially when I'm working with cloth, I start on the driver's side and then I'm going to work my my way around to the passenger side. If you have if it has leather seats, it really doesn't matter where you start your pre-spraying. Um, but for this scenario, really bad interior hammered seats. I'm going to start on the driver's side. So I started on the um, the driver's side seat, then I spray the carpet, then I go to the rear and then I will spray the seat and then the carpet as well. And you're going to see me literally like soak these seats down i know there is so many opinions on the method that i do but it produces results i know a lot of people try to do like a like a dry or a steam <coughs> but i really needed to get these seats looking better than what they were so i'm soaking these seats preparing it for the extraction phase and you see me using a towel that towel after i spray I will wipe literally like um, the center consoles or uh, the plastics. This way it doesn't create any white staining. And I know a lot of people always ask like, hey, <coughs> this product is leaving white staining. That's probably because of the chemicals inside like the product. So I always just wipe off and that's it. So that will help you from eliminating um, having to go back and <coughs> cleaning the plastics from eliminating that white stains. All right, we're now to the extraction phase and this one is definitely kicking my butt. But that side is ready and we are to the passenger side. So before, after, I may have to give that side another shot. I have the fan on there just so it can help me dry a little bit and I can see if there's anything that's gonna pop up after. So whatever pops up after I finish, um, we're gonna give it another, um, we're gonna give it another hit. But as of right now, I'm praying it stays like that. All right guys, we are, it's 1.45. I started in this car at 9.30 so 10, 11, 12, 1. We're already four hours in into this vehicle. Um, I ran out of gas on the generator. <coughs> so I came to get some gas. We're heading back. This is just one of those projects that it's going to take time. So, you know, at the very end of this video, 
I'll probably talk about a little bit of the pricing on this one. Um, but it is just one of those projects that you have to understand your interior game. You have to understand um, really what you're going to be able to do, right? I tell everybody, you can't make an interior perfect, right? But we're trying. We are trying to get these seats. Uh, the seats is what's giving me <coughs> the main issue. After I put the dryer, I was. It helps me dry up the seat, obviously, um, the blower. <coughs> the blower. I'm sorry. So what that's that helps me do is starts drying the seats, and what it does, it always happens. No matter what product you use, it's gonna leave the the stain on the edges of the seat. And I'll probably show you guys what I'm talking about once I get back. Um, but it, it is noticeable. <coughs> so. I always <coughs> come back and do a second round of extraction and agitating and usually the second round takes care of it so um, I'm, I'm gonna take a guess it's gonna take me a good five hours maybe six hours at max but it's looking better <laughs> all right we are back so I'm gonna show you guys how this looks once it dries out so you see all the that's literally just from it had a lot of buildup right but it looks a whole lot better this seat is dry but it still has those stains so which i already know is always gonna pop out so this is all dried up and this usually it usually looks like this no matter what kind of car you do it's always going to leave a stain so what i do is i've already done that side already and it looks way better that side is dry so all i'm gonna do here is the same process is i'm gonna spray my flex fire really quick i'm gonna agitate i'm gonna extract and then i'm just gonna repeat it again and it should look just like that so we're almost to the finish line but these are the projects that really just takes time and you have to have the patience to do these cars So when you're working with these types of interiors, pretty much like really hammered interiors, drill brush is going to be your best friend. <coughs> heating element is going to be your best friend. So if you don't have like a heated extractor, a steamer is going to do just fine. And you're about to see all the the, the staining just literally lift from these seats. Um, and I will just keep spraying heavily because I really want this product to just lift off the seats. Um, <coughs> another tip you're going to see in this video is you're about to see me start pulling the edges like literally uh, and what i'm doing here is just widening the edges so when i extract i'm able to really get a little bit better into the edges to help eliminate a little bit of the winking um, but at the end of the day <coughs> i literally had to do these seats about a good six times so let's keep going Boy, am I glad to be finally done. This was definitely one of those projects that you really got to love what you do. You really got to just grind it out and, and, and finish strong. Um, I honestly, this one, I think very rarely does my mind tell me i need to tap out with this heat we're having out here and the way this interior was my my body and my mind was definitely saying hey you need to tap out you just let it go you know but unfortunately quitting is not an option for me especially when <laughs> you know customers depend on me Customers come to me for these exact reasons. Um, and yeah, many other competitors 
were way cheaper than me. Um, but I can honestly say, and, and it's not that I think I'm the best, but when it comes to interiors, I honestly feel that it's just one of those things that I just love with a passion. And many would probably would have charged 200 for this car and really <coughs> would have called it quits after the first extraction and just say, hey, that's as good as it's gonna get. It's hammered, you know, and things like that. But when you know your craft, you know how to make sure that these seats come out amazing. So I am, <coughs> I'm exhausted. We started at 9.30, I think it's like 4.30 right now. I don't even know what time it is to be honest. It, I think it's like five, um, but that kind of gives you an estimate of how long I've been only and that's only on the interior guys I didn't do the exterior um, this one was strictly interior um, so <coughs> 9 10 11 12 1 2 3 4 that's almost that's like eight hours I think <coughs> in total in this car but let me show you how this car turned out it turned out way better than what I thought let me know what you guys think mats are finally done but here we go guys the final reveal on this vehicle all the stains that were on the door pretty much are all gone for the dressing we use drive auto appearance lux cockpit conditioner as always i don't dress dashboards i will use whatever um after i wipe these doors i'll use that to dress the dashboard i don't like the dashboards to have a lot of condition and look at that carpet guys just beautiful the seats turned out amazing overall this is a huge transformation from beginning to end no more pet hair and the seats all that staining and the browning is gone. Overall guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, hopefully it wasn't too long, a little bit of just kind of on how I handle these types of interiors when they're pretty bad. The total cost on this vehicle today was $650. Yes, just because of the condition and when I know I can get a car looking beautiful, I make sure I charge accordingly. I've been here almost eight hours and really this thing turned out amazing. Um, thankfully, <coughs> I didn't quit. I didn't tap out in this heat, but I am very pleased the way this interior came out. Um, for today, obviously, we use the uh, PNS um, interior cleaner. Uh, we use the Vortex Air Tool. We use the drill brush with the toilet brush attachment. Um, and then we also use the new Max Shine um, agitation um, like sponge, kind of like the Ninja Scrub. Um, but I actually really enjoyed this, this pad. It wasn't too big, too bulky, just right. And it really cleaned the plastics really nice. Um, for the conditioning, obviously Lux Cockpit Conditioner. Um, and for the window cleaner, we use the PNS. It's a green bottle. It's like, it says prep spray, but it's actually a window cleaner as well. And it has been um, <coughs> amazing so far for me. Um, but that concludes today's video. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Um, and as always, God bless you guys. And I'll see you guys on the next video.